what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we are here in italy again got a special request to check out uh the city in sicily italy palermo palermo the most energetic and vibrant city in italy definitely can't wait to check this out because uh I, yeah, boy i got some italy content out there so if y'all like to check it out make sure y'all go check out the playlist and continue to send me some more recommendations hey but we finna jump in this let's check it out this is how we start our video. Welcome to Palama. Oh. This street is pumping. This place is insane. I feel like I'm in the Italian job. We're Matteo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, cheetah? This place is insane. I feel like I'm in the Italian job. You We're can just chill with cheetahs out there too? Matteo no and one. Misha. We recently moved back to Italy to pursue one of our lifelong dreams. Pulling off the ultimate Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. Wow. And we've started off in Sicily. That is beautiful. This week, we are in the vibrant Sicilian capital, Palermo. Palermo. Where there's three oh, wow. little spritz everywhere we look, and we eat our way through the bustling streets, exploring historical icons, and discovering why it's the Italian wow. capital of culture. We've made it to Palermo. And we checked in to Hotel Ambasciatori for 80 euros That's a night. That's not bad. Located close to the train station and a few steps away from the bustling historic center. And it wow. just so happens that, is nice. that it also has one of the best rooftop bars in Palermo, which I'm not mad about, <laughs> I'll be honest, because I mean, look at this. Yeah, that's nice. Nice scenery, nice view. And now in true Italian fashion, we're off to find an afternoon spritz. Spritz? <laughs> I know Aperol Spritz is a big part of Italian culture. And what is the Aperol tried Spritz? Really hard to like it. <laughs> really, over the years, I have tried, but it's too bitter for me. Oh. The thing is, when it's only three euros, you gotta get it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so surprisingly. This one's probably the better of the Aperol Spritzes I've had. It only makes my eye tweak like a little bit. So maybe I'm educating my taste or I don't know, but I feel like I'm really growing up with every sip I take. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Yummy. Do you oh like my. Spritz? I do like Spritz. That's, that's I don't even know what a Spritz is. You know, if y'all get tail me, I don't know taste of orange peel make that little bitter beauty in your mouth mixed with a little bit of prosecco and soda water and you have the perfect concoction for any three euros here in palermo three euros first impressions of palermo from my side this place is crazy diverse there's so many different Let's pack cultures, out out so many different religions so many different everything races this place is insane like there's just a whole concoction of everybody from everywhere and it's just truly impressive to see the diversity here. That's I've been good. reading a lot about the Sicilian history and the culture and this island is known for having all the different religions and cultures come together and actually live in peace. To have this here a thousand years ago and even today, it's just something truly impressive. That is. Hey, got the live music. So we're on our way to breakfast. We need a little bit of espresso. Bustling today. Oh, <laughs> it looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. With the pound cake and everything. <gasps> Look at your. Oh my god. That looks so good. So I ordered something called a green coffee, and from what I understand, it's a shot of espresso. Then it's got pistachio cream, normal cream, and sprinkled with pistachio nuts. So the espresso in the bottom is really warm and still like an espresso. Mix. It, that's a coffee express. That look like a little dessert or something. Cream, and the top is cool, fresh, and fluffy. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even eat pistachios, and that look good. It tastes like if you have to mash pistachio and coffee together inside the same little nut bean <laughs> shell, and they had a baby. That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> 
really creamy and fluffy and nutty. I ordered like a chocolate espresso. Mm. So similar to Mateo's, mine has an espresso shot at the bottom, but then the whole top is just filled with cream and milk and chocolate syrup and cacao powder and it tastes delicious. Cacao? Did you say cacao powder? Like co cocoa powder? What we call cocoa, cacao? What? Behind me is the Palermo Cathedral. If you saw a Sheffield video, oh, then you would have seen, seen the Duomo that was in that video. This is the sister church to that one. This cathedral is the one that houses King Roger II's tomb, as he created this cathedral as wow. well. This church, together with the one in Sheffield and the one in Monreale, which is pretty much a 40 minute drive away, are all listed as one UNESCO World Heritage Site in Sicily. Nice. This is definitely one of the more unique. I think I've definitely seen this in one of those Italy videos I did. That's amazing. Cathedrals we've seen. It feels less like a typical Italian cathedral and a little bit more like a fortress or a castle. That do look, oh my God, that is big. That do look like a little castle. So if you've been to Italy, you know that you have to cover your shoulders before going into a church, especially a cathedral like this one. And it's so mm. hot that I didn't bring a jacket with us, but Matteo, had a towel in his backpack. Dang. So I think that's gonna be my saving grace right now. <laughs> I feel really awkward because now I look like the American flag unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen these designs before. Mateo's a I've seen those designs before. Wow. This where it originated from? Mateo's Italian tip of the day. Whenever you're in a city in Italy and it's extremely hot, Try and find a free church to enter because they are really cool inside as the walls are thick as anything and no sunlight heats up the inside. Hey, she took her, what's the name of? She got to cover those shoulders. Wow. What is that? That is cool. What is that? Behind me is the tomb of King Roger II, one oh, of the, the kings tomb. of Sicily, and the man who built this cathedral. As tombs of kings go, this is definitely one of the less lavish ones that I've ever They just got across. a tomb in a church? I was church? expecting a bit more gold, a bit more chalices and paintings and art and statues. It's pretty simple and just a little bit underwhelming. Wow. That is crazy. They just got his tomb in the church like that? That's that's different. That's different. We are currently on the roof of the cathedral and wow. this view is unreal. You have a 360 degree view Dang. of Palermo. You see the water, you see the whole square and piazza from mountain. the top. And you get an up close look at all of the towers and columns of the cathedral. It is absolutely breathtaking. Not that's to mention, amazing. it's breezy <laughs> and we sway. Uh, this may, that's why I got, I definitely got to visit Italy. Italy is so beautiful, man. Also, I would like to take a moment to apologize to my mother for wearing shorts this short inside of a Catholic church. Sorry, mom. Um, <laughs> I feel like I just lost 10 points to go to heaven. My beat. It's just <laughs> really hot today. Not the 10 points. <laughs> She ripping her American colors though. That is cool. I ain't gonna lie, I'm afraid of heights. I would have been a little scared. Wow. So this has become our favorite street in Palermo. It's called Via Macuerda. Macuerda. And whether it's day or night, this street is pumping. It is full of restaurants and Dang. bars and shops. And there's just such a lively atmosphere here that it just feels like you're really in the heart of Palermo. 
Another reason this street is great is because there's so many restaurants that they all seem to have really great prices, probably to win your business. <laughs> so you can get Aperol Spritz for three euros, Aperol delicious Spritz. pasta for five euros. What? And in a city like this, prices can get pretty high. So it's really nice to get food for such a great deal. That yeah, because I, you definitely, I mean, here in America, you definitely ain't going to get no pasta for five euros. I mean euros dollars might be a little bit more you ain't getting that you ain't getting that not for that price here it's delicious At all. so for lunch we decided to go to Churma because it has an amazing oh, seafood. seafood menu and we've been eating so much pizza and pasta since coming to Italy that we thought it was time to mix it up a bit Wow. we haven't had a poke bowl in so long this one has mozzarella okay, on well. it which pretty Italian so I'm very excited to try that. I can eat mozzarella on anything. This is a fish seafood bruschetta. We've never had wow. a fish or seafood bruschetta before and it looks divine. That do look good. I mean I don't I don't know about the raw fish though. I don't know if that's shrimp or if that's raw fish but I don't know about that, but it could be worth to try. It looked, it looked definitely looks yummy. I'm a very particular fish person. I sometimes love fish and sometimes hate it. But this is a concoction. I have no idea what's on what, but I guess we'll find out. Very fishy, but I do like it. I like fish. It's deep fried and pasted. Come on this now. This is an acquired taste for me. I mean, it does taste good to try something new. So weird. But good. Different. This is really good, but it's definitely different from the other poke bowls I've had before. There's a lot of flavor, though. Now that we have demolished the plate, we think we figured out what was on each one. The first one seemed to have been eggplant with capers. The second one was more of like a ceviche kind of shrimp bruschetta. And this one seems almost like a smoked salmon or trout with caramelized onion. And I think this is the winner. This was my favorite one. They were all delicious, but this one has, it's like an explosion of flavor. Definitely different and interesting, so I'm really happy we tried it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> They said, put me in the video. No, oh, this is nice though. This is amazing. We are currently at a place known as the Four Corners. Quattro Conti or Quattro, Quattro Conti? Quattro Canti. Quattro Canti. Piazza Villena. Si dice si pronuncia Villena. Il primo è più facile. Villena, Villena era il nome di un re spagnolo che viveva qui a Palermo. Quando è morto lui, in suo onore hanno messo questo nome. So we are currently at a point where two main streets in Palermo intersect. It's known as Quattro Canti, or the Four Corners. The Four Corners are known for their perfectly symmetrical facades. Each of them have three levels. These Four Corners look like I've seen it on a movie. I feel like I've seen this place before on a movie or something. The first level is the season, the second level is the king, and the third level is the saint. Not the saint. Behind me is Teatro Massimo. It is the third largest opera house in Europe after the one in Paris and Vienna. Mm. Inaugurated in 1897, it is still in use today. Two scenes for The Godfather 3 were filmed here. Wow. I'm gonna have to go watch The Godfather 3. Never seen it. Wow. These are the type of things I have seen in movies or something.
So one of the scenes in Godfather 3 was filmed right wow. there in the royal box. That's crazy. The royal box. Our house is going to be modeled exactly after this. Maybe a little bit smaller. This place is incredibly large. <laughs> and it's actually, the video doesn't really do it justice at all. 5 p.m. Palermo update. Michelle and I have the tendency to explore a little bit too much. <laughs> well, after about 10 kilometers of walking around the city, we kind of just find Very ourselves tired. wandering around, forgetting what we're actually doing. But yeah, now we're on to the next place. <laughs> the famous mural in Palermo, and it's apparently a stunning park. Hmm. Ooh. There we go, some fresh water. On our walk through the city, we've come across the beautiful marina. The water looks so fresh on this. I would have jumped in there. I see an MSC cruise ship. Yeah, I would have jumped right in that water, boy, because it that sun do look like it's giving off some very hot radiation right now. Keeping out the back there, and it brings a little tear to my eye because some of you may know that me and Mateo used to work on the cruise ships before COVID. It was an awesome oh, place wow. to work. Behind me is a famous mural in Palermo. It is of two judges, Borsellino e Falcone. They were both judges back in the 90s, fighting in cases against the Mafia. Mm. And they were tragically murdered in car bombings. Oh, dang. If you're from the ancient times and you arrived in Palermo by the port, you would have had to come through Porta Felice. This is the ancient gate to the city, and it used to have an arch at the top, which, from what I understand, was damaged in the bombings in World War II. Oh, wow. Some history right there. This is nice Low though. Key, the elevator in this hotel makes me feel like I'm in the Italian job because <laughs> there's a gate and then you gotta push through. Oh the wow. Doors. Welcome, step on That thing looks small. I always forget to close Why the Why is the elevator so tiny? Well, I would have been. I'm big. Welcome, I'm step on in. I always forget to close the gate. Job. <laughs> Why am I British all of a sudden? <laughs> Get into it. Anyway, I feel like I'm James Bond, I do. <laughs> oh, I've got to close the door when I come out. Hey, That was a tiny <laughs> elevator. <laughs> so this is the first time I've seen curly pasta reminds me of my hair. I think it's homemade because both of our mm. pastas came like this, but it's very That look good. That look real good. Carbonara. Yeah, if I go to Italy, I'm probably going to try every pasta on the market because I love me some pasta. I mean, I can make some chicken alfredo, you know, spaghetti and all that, the simple stuff, the American stuff. But I will have to try all the pasta for sure. In our next episode, we head to the street Ooh. food markets of Palermo, where we savor some Sicilian I'm gonna have dishes to look at that and one. sample some uh, interesting Palermo street food delicacies. What type of burger? If you find us funny, give us a like, give us a subscribe, do all those things. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to check out. I gotta subscribe to Global Expat. I gotta check out the best street food. Y'all know I like to eat. Man, she, 10 must try food. I gotta check these out. These are definitely some must see videos right here, but I definitely enjoy this one. This was good, man. Italy's so beautiful. Man, dang, it makes me want to pack my bags up and go somewhere right now sometimes, you know. But guys, I appreciate the recommendation. That's all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, send me more recommendations, and be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.